The mystery continues. Interstellar Object 3i Atlas has yet to reveal its true nature, with each step adding a new layer of strange and inexplicable anomalies, as if deliberately defying all known models. And now, another anomaly has appeared, one so rare that statistical calculations have all but ruled out its possibility. It's just a coincidence, you might say, but the magnitude of the coincidence has surprised more than a few researchers. At this point, the number of anomalies is too numerous to ignore. So it was necessary to systematize them. This has been done before, but this time the percentages were taken seriously. Professor Avi Loeb of Harvard University has just taken the bold step of ranking all the Atlas 3i anomalies by probability of occurrence. The results are both fascinating and terrifying, especially when many of the probabilities lean toward scenarios that traditional science has never prepared for. Perhaps behind all those numbers, there is a bigger story that the universe is trying to hide. He divides the anomalies into three categories. The first, which we'll start with, are the large anomalies that have no simple explanation. They can't. No one can really explain them. Next are the medium anomalies, the second category, which could be a statistical fluke. And the third category, the small anomalies, which could potentially be explained by the unique origin of the Atlas 3i interstellar object. 3i Atlas. It may have been traveling through space billions of years before our sun formed. So humans may have sent it to learn about Jupiter, perhaps because Earth was uninhabited at the time. So basically the probabilities that we're going to look at now are arranged in order. What is the probability of this anomaly occurring if the object is completely natural, right? Each anomaly has a probability P, that is the likelihood of this anomaly occurring randomly in a natural object. I don't want to get too technical, so I'll just give a percentage for each object. Stay tuned because what happens next will blow your mind if you are curious about the mystery of the 3i Atlas and let me know where you are watching this video from. I want to see where in the world this is happening with me. The most extreme anomalies associated with 3i Atlas are gradually revealing themselves not as a collection of isolated puzzling phenomena, but as successive links in a chilling logical chain. If they are all natural phenomena, then perhaps the universe operates according to a mechanism that modern science is still completely incapable of explaining. Each individual anomaly is difficult to accept, but when put together, they begin to tell a larger story, a story that no one seems to want to admit is taking shape right before our eyes. The first sign of the anomaly came from the near-perfect match between 3i Atlas's perihelion distance and Jupiter's hill radius. The difference between the two values is only a few parts per thousand a precision that is usually found in sophisticated survey models, but rarely in natural objects. More remarkably, to achieve this orbit, 3i Atlas underwent a microgravity thrust at the exact moment the Sun eclipsed it, creating a perfect observational blindness period, ideal for anyone wishing to adjust its orbit without being detected. Coincidentally, Jupiter's hill radius was also modeled by Carl Sagan and his team in the 1960s as the optimal location for long-term interstellar observational instruments. The inevitable question arises, is this just a strange coincidence between theory and practice, or a strategy that a distant civilization might have considered? The next sign of anomaly is the timing of three I atlases approach to each planet in the solar system. Its path past Venus, Mars, and Jupiter before disappearing behind the sun looks more like a series of deliberate surveys than the motion of a wandering comet. Independent simulations by several European astronomical groups show that this orbit is near optimal for observing three planets in the shortest possible time which is suspiciously consistent with the structure of interplanetary reconnaissance missions in theoretical models. What's puzzling is that NASA didn't mention these perfectly verifiable calculations in the press conference. The odds of a comet naturally choosing an orbit so optimal that it beats thousands of Monte Carlo simulations are hard to justify. The third unusual sign concerns the size and frequency of 3i Atlas. This object is so large that it defies all interstellar statistics it's nearly a million times larger than Oumuamua, moves faster than 2i slash Borisov, and has enough mass to cause an extinction event if it hits Earth. Yet it's the third interstellar object discovered in less than a decade, defying traditional astronomical models that suggest objects of this size should only appear every few million years. This gap between theory and reality has some scientists asking a more provocative question. Are these objects truly random? or are they some kind of signal train being sent out from a star system to probe the cosmos? The fourth anomaly involving jets makes things even more puzzling. 
The high-rise image shows a streak of light stretching out in front of three eye atlas, resembling a searchlight beam sweeping across space, a phenomenon that cannot be produced by the natural sublimation of ice. Many advanced physics models have discussed the possibility of spacecraft using directed particle beams or lasers to sweep away dust particles at high speeds, creating a similar long-lasting glow. This is exactly the type of microparticle defense technology that has been shown in NASA and ESA interstellar vehicle simulations. If another civilization faces the same physical challenges as us, it is likely they have developed similar mechanisms, and the high-rise image seems to have accidentally captured exactly that process. The fifth anomaly becomes more troubling when chemical analysis is done. 3i Atlas has an unusually high nickel content, something that has never been seen in the thousands of comets observed over the decades. Rather than resembling primordial material from the solar system, it resembles an industrial nickel alloy, leading many scientists to associate it with a man-made structure that has corroded or disintegrated over time. Even more curiously, material models for 22nd century spacecraft structures have proposed the use of high nickel alloys to withstand radiation and microparticle collisions in the interstellar medium and 3i Atlas's nickel content surprisingly matches those models. The sixth anomaly takes the whole thing to a whole new level. 3i Atlas has a retrograde orbit that lies precisely within five degrees of the ecliptic. In celestial dynamics, the likelihood of an object being retrograde and maintaining such a precise alignment is virtually nil without constant intervention or adjustment. Ironically, this type of orbit is often used in theoretical studies of interstellar probes as it allows planetary systems to be surveyed from the opposite side while still optimizing energy. NASA's complete silence on this detail has further puzzled experts. When six anomalies, each extremely rare, appear in the same object, the question becomes no longer whether this is a series of strange coincidences. Instead, the question becomes, how many more coincidences do we need to start considering an alternative hypothesis? Data, probabilities, and field observations are converging into a pattern that is both thrilling and chilling. Perhaps the universe isn't just sending us an anomalous ice cube, but is testing whether humanity is mature enough to recognize a larger message, one we may only be beginning to understand. The category of the two anomalies averages lies in a gray area where things seem normal, but always make the observer uneasy. They may be just statistical accidents, but their strangeness is enough to make scientists unable to ignore them. This is the realm of ambiguous signals, disturbing coincidences, and data that makes people frown and wonder, why is this happening? And it is in this gray area that 3i Atlas continues to reveal details that make its nature more unpredictable than ever. The first and perhaps most shocking anomaly is the haunting connection to the WOW signal, the most mysterious radio signal in the entire history of SETI research. On August 15, 1977, the Big Ear Telescope in Ohio unexpectedly recorded a strong, sharp, narrow signal lasting exactly 72 seconds, coming from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. The signal did not appear simultaneously on two channels, like man-made sources on Earth, did not resemble radar, and did not coincide with a satellite or an airplane. It was coming from deep space at exactly 1,420 megahertz, the emission frequency of hydrogen atoms, a frequency range that astronomers call the cosmic hotline, because if a civilization wanted to send a message, this was almost certainly the best choice. The WOW signal has never been repeated, despite decades of SETI tracking it. Many theories have been proposed, from comet tails to disturbances in the hydrogen cloud to rare natural phenomena, but none can explain its unusual narrowness and incredible intensity. It remains at the top of the list of signals that could be of extraterrestrial origin, although no one has enough evidence to draw a definitive conclusion. And this is where the story gets strangely suspicious. 3i Atlas entered the solar system from the same region of sky as the WOW signal, with only a 9-degree difference. Probability calculations put the chance of this being a coincidence at about 0.6%. No one is claiming a direct connection between 3i Atlas and the WOW signal, but the fact that two mysterious phenomena, a never-before-seen radio signal and the strangest interstellar object ever observed, appeared from almost the same region of sky as scientists scrambling to take a second look. 
The coincidence could well be a coincidence, but it's the kind of coincidence that makes even the most skeptical skeptics shudder. The second anomaly in this group involves negative polarization of light, an extremely rare phenomenon occurring in less than 1% of natural comets. When sunlight reflects off an object, the degree of polarization reveals its structure, surface, and material composition. But 3I Atlas exhibits an unusually deep negative polarization, unlike any other comet ever measured, including 2I Borisov. This is also related to another strange feature, a reverse tail pointing in the opposite direction to what standard comet models predict. Some models that fit the observation suggest that 3I Atlas's ejection mechanism is so different from that of typical comets that it may even stem from metallic-like reflective surfaces or ordered structures, rare elements and otherwise chaotic natural objects. If 3I Atlas's large anomalies are like a direct hit that shakes up current astronomical models, the medium anomalies are like a lingering whisper, a vague sense that something bigger is going on. Faint data like the wow signal or the anomalous polarity can't be definitive evidence for any bold hypothesis, but they open the door to a possibility that many people don't want to consider. In a universe where surprises are the norm, sometimes coincidences are the most valuable clues. The third category, small anomalies, are often considered to be phenomena that could occur naturally, but have a very low probability of occurring, less than 10%. Individually, each anomaly seems unlikely to shake any astronomical paradigm. However, when all of them appear together on a single interstellar object like 3I Atlas, they create a paradox that is hard to ignore. This object has some signs of a natural comet, but also exhibits properties that do not match any known comet in the history of observation. The first anomaly concerns the extremely low water content of 3I Atlas's gas column, only about 4%. For a typical comet in the solar system, this figure is unreasonable, given that comets are rich in water ice and volatile ice. This rare amount of water has led researchers to pose a controversial hypothesis. Is 3I Atlas not a natural ice core, but a solid structure, or even an object of technological origin covered only by a thin layer of dust and ice that has accumulated over billions of years of drifting through space. If it is not a comet, then the lack of water becomes completely reasonable. The next anomaly became apparent as 3I Atlas approached perihelion and suddenly brightened with an unusual blue hue. The object brightened faster than any other comet ever observed, and its blue hue was even more intense than that of the sun. In astronomy, natural comets typically turn redder as their dusty surfaces heat up. But 3I Atlas turned blue, a color typically associated with ionized plasma or high-energy radiation sources. This led many scientists to wonder, could the blue glow be a signal of an internal energy mechanism at work, or even a trace of some kind of engine being activated as the object neared the sun? The third anomaly concerns the powerful jets emitted by 3I Atlas. If these jets were produced by sublimation of ice, a mechanism known to occur naturally in comets, then 3I Atlas would have to be much larger to produce the observed intensities. But it is not large enough. This contradiction has led many simulations to suggest that the jets may not be sublimation products, but rather directed jets, akin to the propulsion mechanism of a dynamical system. If these jets are technological in origin, they fit the observational data much better than classical cometary models. Another anomaly that makes 3I Atlas even more puzzling is the strange stability of its jet stream. The direction of the jet stream remains constant for more than a million kilometers, despite the object rotating once every 16 hours. In natural comets, rotation would cause the jet stream to rotate, creating characteristic turbulence. But not 3I Atlas. Its jet stream is almost stationary, as if fixed by an active control system. And in nature, there is no mechanism that can maintain a steady direction of the jet stream despite the object's rotation, unless it is a structure capable of controlling the direction, that is, a form of artificial technology. The final anomaly in this group concerns microgravity acceleration. A comet that accelerates rapidly usually does so at the cost of mass loss or structural disintegration, especially after passing perihelion. Yet three, 
Eye atlas remains intact with no signs of fracture or weakening. This goes against all current understanding of cometary physics. The simplest explanation for acceleration without fragmentation is the existence of a propulsion that does not depend on sublimation, a form of unnatural engine. When you add up all these small anomalies, you get a pattern that is completely different from that of a natural comet, an implausibly low water content, a high energy blue flare, powerful jets that resemble engines, a consistent jet direction despite the object's rotation and acceleration without structural failure. Each of these details alone may be considered rare, but still within the range of natural phenomena. But when they all converge on a single interstellar object, the question of three I atlases' true nature becomes more pressing than ever. Is it simply a misunderstood comet or a technological construct from a place far beyond our imagination? When you add all three groups of anomalies together, the statistical picture becomes almost absurd. In terms of probability, the likelihood of a completely natural comet possessing all of these characteristics is close to zero. If we consider each anomaly as a single event, the combined probability becomes the product of the individual probabilities. That means we are multiplying numbers like 0.004%, 0.005%, less than 0.1%, 0.6%, 6%, and many other extremely small values. Each number is rare. But when multiplied together, the probability of a comet randomly appearing with all these strange signs evaporates from the realm of physical meaning. Statisticians would say that at that level, we are no longer talking about rare, but almost impossible. Rough estimates put the odds at less than one in a trillion. Put simply, it's like flipping a coin and almost always landing on the exact sequence you want consistently without fail for so long that no one has the patience to wait. In theory, it's not impossible, but in practice, no one would dare believe it's just luck. That's where three I Atlas gets worrying. Theoretically, we can still insist that everything is just random, but when the probability drops below one in a trillion, Serious scientific questions start to arise. Are we witnessing an extreme statistical exception to nature, or have we stumbled upon a scenario that current models don't account for? And if it's more than just luck, what is 3i Atlas trying to tell us? And that's what Harvard professor Avi Loeb wants to emphasize. When all these anomalies are combined, the possibility that 3i Atlas is just a natural comet becomes extremely unlikely. Not because of a single phenomenon, but because of the combination of an incredible series of data appearing at the same time on a single object. Such a series of coincidences far exceeds the limits of what natural statistics usually allow. Avi Loeb, however, is not claiming that this is Captain Kirk's ship or a technological emissary from some alien civilization. He remains firm in his scientific stance. Wait for more definitive data. What he wants now are precise spectroscopic measurements of the composition of the jets, the rate of outgassing, and the chemical signatures around 3i Atlas. These, he says, would help to definitively distinguish whether the observed jets are the result of natural ice sublimation or some form of high-tech propulsion. If the latter, the spectra would show the familiar signs of water, CO, CO2, or organic compounds. But if there are strange compositions, unusual elemental ratios, or ion traces that don't fit the comet model, we'll be forced to consider bolder hypotheses. Loeb believes the upcoming measurements could be decisive and hopes to release the data on December 19th. Meanwhile, the scientific community and astronomy enthusiasts are eagerly awaiting any new information. If the data confirms current suspicions, we will face a revolution in our understanding of interstellar objects. If it turns out to be a natural phenomenon, 3i Atlas will still be one of the strangest and most fascinating comets ever observed by humans. This is not just a story about a strange object. It opens up deeper questions about extraterrestrial life, about interstellar technology, about what lurks in interstellar space that we have yet to grasp. The exploration is just beginning, and each new piece of data from the 3i Atlas could change our entire view of humanity's place in the universe. Thanks for following along. If you enjoy the Atlas series, please continue exploring the next installments and share them so that more people can learn too. Thanks to those who have been with us along the way, and welcome to those who have just joined us on this journey. Come back for the next installment.
where we will discuss an even more important and fascinating topic.